sorry it's been a really long time since I recorded stuff. I've, uh, I've been between being sick and dealing with crap, and I'm still kind of sick, but we're going to see if I can record a video today. So, I wanted to show you guys this video. I really wanted to show you the um, Meepo getting, uh, what was it, Boots, Vlad, Scepter, and Blink before 17 minutes. But you can really only do that in a live condition. You can't do that with just a jungle and no enemy teammates or any enemy team players because you gotta get gold off kills if you're gonna be able to do that. Unless someone else knows a way to do it. In which case, link it in the uh, comments because I'll be like, dude, I'm trying that. Anyway, um, this is a game, this is another moral lesson for everyone out there. This game is about not giving up. This game uh, shows you that when, you, when you're demoralized, you shouldn't give up. So, um, what we start off with in top lane is a really good Warlock Undying combo. Um, we just, we, we murder these two. It's Life Stealer, Storm Spirit, and, um, I thought it was more than Life Stealer and Storm Spirit. Here, we're gonna go to free camera. Grab okay. But we end up like 6 and O oh, as far as top is concerned. Okay, so the thing that you need to know about this Warlock and Dying combination is that, um, for me, I've got my upheaval, slows them for 14% right now per second, but it goes up to a max of 28, which means in 3 seconds, 3 or 4 seconds, they're slowed at 84%. Um, Brambo is doing his zombies, they slow you for 7%, for every zombie that's attacking you currently. That, um, that basically means that because slow stack additively, you can slow people to basically nothing. Um, and you can see that the slow alone is pretty effective. We're gonna get out of this, um, believe it or not. He's gonna steal some <laughs> mana. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Basically, we made it out by the skin of our teeth, but we end up with a 5-0 lead. Um, so things go very well for us in the beginning, especially in this top lane. Now I will point out that AA is not getting very many last hits. He's got six in the last Dyer's six minutes. Top tower is under um, attack. We have Sniper who's got eight as a mid, which is not great. And Gopi, who is in, in base because he's disconnected. Or, oh no, no, he was in base disconnected. He's got a really late start. At six minutes, he's only level three and he's jungling. Doom jungling isn't the easiest thing already, so he is he is way behind. So let's skip ahead. Um, the reason that he's doing a dance here is because he was waiting for that sun strike to come down. It missed because that Bloodseeker Invoker combo, we can um, we can guarantee that we're gonna get sun striked wherever we are vulnerable. Anyway, getting back up to top lane, we've got um, like I said, this is a wonderful combo. I throw down my Fatal Bonds and my Upheaval, and Brambo throws out a Decay and a Tombstone, and it pretty much means death. Now, Brambo really should have pulled it up a lot sooner, because the sooner here now. you get the zombies on that channel, the sooner they, um, the sooner they, uh, slow him down so that he stays in my Upheaval longer. I blew it. So, like I said, easy kills. Um, because if you know how to play your undying, you just land those decays, and everything's hunky-dory. Alright, now this I believe we both get killed. Dyer's top tower is under it. That was an easy pick-off. Radiant's um, bottom. Well, here, I'll show you guys. So Brambo thinks he's all that in a bag of chips, he's gonna go in here. Now we're still 7-3, so this isn't now 7-4, so this isn't terrible, but they've caught on to what we're doing, and it only takes a few more numbers in the pool to uh, counter our lane. You know, you get three people up there, and one of them's a nuker, actually two of them, really, and that's bad news for us. Gotta go check that rune. I had a really long, in-depth analysis of this whole match, but it went like 50 minutes, so <laughs> I, uh, I decided to do a truncated version here. If anyone wants the full version uploaded in three parts, just put it in the comments. I doubt you need it. We 
we see Invoker start to catch up. He's 4-1. and one. He got 25 last hits compared to the 22 of Sniper. And he's Radiance been killing Sniper. Middle tower is under attack. We got three people roaming. They're going to come top and try to kill us. Now, at the point we start losing the kill advantage, the team morale starts dropping. And I've tried to tell Brambo, hey, get out. But he's, he didn't listen until it was too late. I've got my golem, thankfully. We're going to murder them. Because they tried to pick a fight when we were in We are very prepared for one. Oh. Oh, and we really want that storm spirit. I mean, we want him bad. But we're not going to get him. Dyer's structures are fortified. Alright, so... Still not a bad lane. They have to have three people up here to really deal with us. We're gonna end up murdering this dude. I think... No, no, I think we both end up dying. No, he made it! Ah, uh, no, fuck it, we both die. Okay, so, um, that was really... I don't know if he had the decay up. Let's see. Because Brimbo's pretty good about landing his decays. Six, five, four, three, two. Nope, did not have his decay up. Or he'd have won that. And of course, the Bloodseeker comes in to pick me off. Not a big surprise. Dyer's top tower. So, we're starting to get killed up top. We can take those two easy, but the rest of the team has been really smart and they've responded to a problem. Um, middle when you've got a problem attack. on your team where one lane is getting wrecked, you should go help that lane. Yeah, your towers are going to take a little bit of damage, but um, unless they've got a uber pusher, they're going to... Uh, they're going to be... more concerned with farming than they are with pushing towers. So you got a problem on your team, you go help. Anyway. We take top tower. We've as far as our kills go, we've got a combined total of six kills, four deaths. Not bad. And we've taken our towers. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna go Roman until another tower goes down. Two of our people die bottom, and it's very clear that suddenly to Brambo and I that um, we're the only two that are actually doing well this match. You know, our teammates, they're playing their best, so we can't get mad at them, but um, Dyer's they, top did, tower is under they attack. did poorly early games. Jump ahead, jump, jump ahead. We decide to push bottom tower. As a team. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Gopi is still in the jungle. I Dyer's believe. bottom tower He's is under attack. Coming in from behind. Dyer's structures are fortified. This is bad. I decide to throw down my golem instead of getting out of the um, rich blood ritual there, which is why I die. Oh no, I don't die. I teleport out like a boss. MLG. Now the really key thing about this, oh, was that apparently Storm Spirit was DC. When did that happen? Dyer's yes, Storm Spirit's just sitting in their base, attack. but they initiated on us. After, well, we were pushing tower. Anyway, I should have gotten out of that blood right, but because I teleport away, I, I end up making everything all right to a degree. AA gets eaten. <laughs> But we end up trading two for three. And that means that Gopi gets a little farm. Now he can get his minus if that's what he's going for. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is okay. under attack. So we take bottom tower. So we, we traded three for two, Dyer's which is bottom good. Tower we got a tower out of it, which is also good. But it's clear that we aren't invincible here. We're taking lots of uh, heavy hits. Our sniper and our AA. Sniper in particular, we don't want to die because he's going to have to carry us late game, but AA is a fantastic support, and um, we really need him to, you know, get uh, not lose gold to uh, death. Now 
Now Brambo gets caught out. But apparently he's invisible. Oh, and I... I effed that up. Oh god. What makes me do that? Okay. So I come in, and I think that I didn't place it right, I think, so I move it immediately. And if I had just left it there, Bloodseeker probably would be dead right now. My bad. Anyway, team fight's still going well for us when we're not at an even, you know, even match. Uh, we just took two people out, we just picked them off. They can't roam as two. That's good for us. Okay, so we take mid tower. Everything's looking great. We're still four kills ahead. We're up a couple towers. Actually, we're up more than a couple towers. And again, I tried to throw down the golem instead of getting out of the blood right. No, I don't think I get out of this alive. Yeah. And Bloodseeker's gonna get three kills off this. Four. Four kills. Ah, ah, ah. No. Invoker steals it from him, and he dies. Greedy, greedy, greedy bastard. I try to send my golem after this guy, but it's a lost cause. I think I to attack. Yeah, there's no way I was gonna catch up with him. But yeah, that's a big loss for us. Four people down in one team fight, and it was all because none of us uh, wanted to get out of the blood right. Under attack. I mean, they lost two, but at this point, that's really, really a good fight for them. I don't know where that AA is, um, what is going. Apparently AA just shot it out to see where it would go. Anyway. Got Rambo mid. He's feeling um, retaliatory right now. He was winning pretty hard in the Radiant's beginning. Now we're, we're taking some denied. losses in team fights. He wants to kill some people and push. Okay, now this is a really key team fight for me. I want to actually do this in pretty slow motion. Okay. Okay, so I'm approaching the situation. I'm saying I really need to be here to help, um, that's not right. <laughs> I really need to be here to help, uh, Brambo. In fact, we're gonna just... There. Alright. Why am I on fire? Thanks, replays! Okay. Anyway, so I see, um, that Brambo needs help here. I come in, Brambo tries to flank. Now, this is a bad situation for me. I'm out of position. I know I'm going to be killed here if, if everyone tries to kill me. So what do I do? I throw down my upheaval around myself because I've been ruptured. As soon as that hits me, I realize I'm going to have to heal here in a second. My channel's interrupted and I'm silenced. So I don't move because I'm ruptured, but I should probably right-click. The reason I don't right-click is I know they're moving away from me. I wait until I heal, and all of that slow that I just threw in to the fight really made a difference. And I don't lose my cool here. I throw on a fatal bonds when I should right click because I'm a little panicked. Looking for me. My but we get the kill. Me. There. And Brambo's gonna get this kill here. Now I want you to watch that in f um, at normal speed. just see the decision-making process there. I'm out of position. I realize I'm out of position. Instead of running away because I'm ruptured, I say I have to deal with it right now. I throw down my upheaval because that's going to slow everyone down, and it does. In fact, I think that a cold feet almost goes off. I do damage. We kill. Now, that wasn't a great situation because I died, and I shouldn't have. If I hadn't been out of position, I wouldn't have... Um, I wouldn't have died. But... I think that uh, Brambo's killing people up here, and he's not. Oh. Hashtag not worth. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 
There we go. Now it's worth it. And we're gonna pick everyone else off. Yeah. Oh, Gopi gets picked off too. Okay, so now we're even and we're about to lose big. Oh. <coughs> Not worth. That was wrong. That hashtag worth was really because I was proud I didn't lose my head and run to a rupture. Because, uh. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Uh, huh, I'd never heard Tony say something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I could have panicked and I could have died really quickly there, but Radiance I had to make the storm spear work for attack. it, and I was pretty proud of that. But they've turned the tables on us. We can see they're catching up in kills. Our kill count is not increasing as much as theirs is over time right now, and that's bad for us. We've gotten a little cocky. Radiance top tower is under attack. Anyway. Okay, so that wombo of a combo there. Um, I'm dead. I'm just so dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not dead. Rambo keeps me alive. Now, I know that there's nothing I can do here. Radiance bottom tower is under I could have started running away, but I think I thought I was ruptured. Or maybe I was ruptured. Anyway, I don't move because I'm trying to micro my golems. I die, but we get two kills off of that. We're about to get. No, we missed that third. Radiance bottom tower is <laughs> under attack. Die. Still, they get two kills. We get two kills. Ish, over time, as a result of that that altercation. Now we finally have Shadow Blade on our sniper, which is fantastic. So he's starting to survive more. Radiance and, tower is under attack. You know, things are looking grim for us. We just lost three towers. In the span of like I don't know, five minutes. Is under attack. <coughs> I'm about to die. I tried to heal myself there. I pulled them away from A. I don't run the blood right. There wasn't much I could do there. I was trying to save someone with my upheaval and it turned on me. Now we have these two fighting three, and it's just not gonna work. At this point, Brambo is uh, pretty upset. He's uh, GGing, I think. He's like, this isn't working. Clearly, they're they're overtaking us in team fight. Is under attack. I'm trying to save Gopi here. I'm like, get out of here, you fool. Run! And he keeps coming back in trying to save me. And I'm like, no, that's what I'm doing for you. You get out. Okay. Dyer's bottom tap. We're gonna get some farm. Invoker kills me. Oh yeah, this is an interesting juxtaposition. So... Dyer's that right click, under attack. bested by that skill shot. Sad day, sad day. If we'd done just a little more damage on Tiny, it would have been a stalemate there. Anyway. We're gonna jump ahead, jump, jump, jump ahead. Just to further illustrate, this is not going our way. We keep losing, team fights. Rambo just tried to take them all on with me, and actually this is a pretty good team fight to watch because we make some big mistakes. Okay, so that goes up. I get stunned, so I don't get my channel off. I say, okay, now's the perfect time for golems. Now wait, did I have those up? If I had those this whole time, no, five, four, three, two, one. I throw down the golems. Try to get a couple of kills. <laughs> and I think I do. Nice! And he goes and visits. Nothing my golems I can do. But, er, my golems can do. Um, but we took two for two, pretty much. Still, we're losing the kills game here. Um, they are, they've quickly overtaken us. And they're taking our towers. We are looking at having been winning it really hard in our top lane, Brambo and I, to sharing the kind of lackluster game that the other lanes were having and the jungle was having. And it's pretty disheartening. 
we're gonna lose this team fight pretty big too. A goes down. I see that there's nothing I can do here for Brambo. I really wanted to heal him. I kept flip-flopping whether or not I was gonna heal him. That results in my death. If I just re retreated from the beginning or healed him from the beginning, I'd have at least done something productive. <coughs> but I do not. I really suck there. You saw me flip-flopping back and forth. And that's that's one of the. Um, you know, you can't really be mad at people for wanting to help, but at the same time, they either should help or they shouldn't. We think it's GG at this point. Well, actually, Rambo thinks it's GG. And uh, the the other teammates are sharing his Radiance bottom I, tower however, is under attack. I'm looking at my uh, money top tower is and under attack. how close I am to a refresher orb. I really don't want to sell my mana boots, but I know that we need those four golems. So I hold out for quite some time before I uh, resort to any measure like attack. that. And I really just want to save Sniper here. Invoker's gonna come in to pick me off. I, I was busy trying to run when I should have been throwing my golems at him. He's gonna get out of there. He's not gonna have any problems with those. Especially not Exhort. <laughs> Alright. Send my golems to farm. Gopi disconnect again. Things are not looking great for us. And he actually gets an abandon. We try to, you know, hold on. But. I have no clue what's going on there. <laughs> the glitches! That's really funny to watch. Okay, quick uh, break in our commentary to show one very confused Undying running around the map while he's being electrocuted. And he's invisible, but visible. This is, uh, this is good progress. Good progress. Anyway. <laughs> Roshan has <coughs> fallen to the dire. So, Tiny gets an immortal. Well or the Aegis of the Immortal. We're trying to micro Gopi. It's not working. <coughs> we pause again because we're like, we really need Gopi. And this invoker's a dick. <sighs> Fuck off is right. When you want to pause for someone, it's because you're afraid you can't win a fair fight. If, uh... If you can't win a fair fight, then why are you even playing? Do you do you come into Dota saying, I'm going to win because I've fought hard against five other people? Or are you going to play Dota because you want to win a fair five-on-five five match? And I'd rather be the latter. <coughs> mm, now, I, they see me, so they're going to go for me. <coughs> and it's actually a pretty bad position if they decided to pincer movement that... I'd probably have been picked off. Now, Brambo thinks he's gonna leave. I'm like, no, dude, don't leave. We got this. Four demons coming on the way. <laughs> because I've got my uh, perseverance here. I die, defending. Um, we're gonna start feeding one at a time here. Doom goes in way too far. Sniper gets picked off. <coughs> Brambo throws the GG well played. <laughs> Radiance top tower. <laughs> Gopi is, is really mad they didn't pause for him. But little does the other team know. They think they're winning. We think we're losing. Well, actually everyone but me thinks we're losing. I know what I have to do here. But I'm close. I'm so close to that 1800 gold. But I have to sell my boots. They're on our doorstep. I have to sell my um Boots and my ring, but I do it, damn it. <clears throat> and this makes all the difference. I'm going to actually do this in slow motion because this one's another one we really need to watch. Things look hopeless. We've been playing against this Bloodseeker who is just murdering us, this Tiny who's murdering us, and this um, Invoker who now has farm. He's got a sheep stick. But we have inv uh, a Bloodseeker caught out of position. And I say, you know what? It is time for four golems. Now that stun goes through Tiny's BKB. 
So I've basically made his BKB useless for like three seconds. Not only that, but he's taking physical damage. I throw down the upheaval right as um, Spyro throws in the AA ult. And this just goes all kinds of wrong for them. They were clumped up while they were pushing uphill. We had our tombstone upheaval combo up, and not only that, we had four golems in the mix. There was no way they were going to win that. And I knew this whole time, that's all we needed. Now, we're going to go after... Let's just, just, just watch the beauty of that moment again. His ult goes off. My ult goes off twice. We have the upheaval. We have the tombstone. We have the ice vortex in there, in the mix. You can't see it, but it's in there. And we have the AA ult. What do they have? Well, they've used their avalanche on um, my golems. None of us. We have the, you know, comet coming in and a deafening blast if they want one, but he completely screws it up. Uh, uh, like, here, the, the real problem is we were uphill and they were fighting downhill that whole time. And the things they were fighting against were my golems and Brambo. Guess who died? Brambo. Not my golems, funny enough. But, but certainly not us two. We were free to sit back and nuke. If they'd gotten in our faces, that would have gone really poorly for us, but they decided to deal with the problem that was downhill. Not that they had much of a choice, because between a tombstone and a tower, yeah, it, it, things just aren't going to look good for you. So, yeah, we were losing pretty hard there. I mean, they even got a tower uh, all the way up to our turtle. I mean, we're even on towers technically, but they've gotten one near our racks, and that's big. My golems were summoned way too late to do anything useful here. They're going to get a couple of hits in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick, everybody. Got the cough. Anyway, so that one team fight after I sold everything is enough for me to say Tranquil Boots and a gem. I'm getting the gem because that invoker keeps getting away and we need to cull him back. He's got 20 kills and 6 deaths. This is why you don't give up, because it looks really bad. It looks really, really bad for us, but... Something else uh, you gotta remember is when a team gets ahead of steam and they're cut off, they give you time. And these guys, they're still kind of spread out, they aren't concerted, and I've only got 60 seconds left till my next ult. Let's skip ahead 10 seconds 6 times. Or maybe 5 times. 3, 2, 1. Guess where they all are. They've concerted their efforts, it's taken them this long to get top. I throw down my 2 golems, or 4 golems. We kill our dudes, immediately. I'm gonna send my four golems in there, leaving my channel up because I feel like Bloodseeker could come and pick me off, forgetting that I killed Bloodseeker. But Life Stealer certainly could, even with the channel up. Now I remember, oh yeah, that Invoker. Burnt offering. He's uh, gonna be invisible. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna send my folks after him. But I'm also. Come on, come on. I remember I've got a gem of True Sight just for this. Oh, hey, there's that dude that I want to kill. <coughs> and he's toast. Such toast was never made. <laughs> oh, man, I think Brambo gets this. Lame. I wanted the... Tr oh, Kramer got it. I could have gotten... Could have gotten the Ultra Kill. Brambo has regained his uh, morale, which is good for the whole team because he's a very important part of it. He realizes now that even though he's not, or he, he is dying pretty frequently, he's helping the team out considerably. I'm going for Shiva's guard because I want to slow these bitches down some more! <coughs> Okay, so now they are really, really concerned, and they're taking their time, which they shouldn't. If you get hit by a double golem ult, or a quad golem ult, the first thing you need to do after you lose, if you lose, but after you lose, the first thing you need to do is kill that warlock as soon as you possibly can. Because in 15 seconds, I'm going to have more golems. So they got the Aegis of Immortality. They're like, okay guys, big push mid. We're all just going to push mid. Well, they should really be split pushing. Tiny should be pushing bottom. 
they two people maybe should push this and one and two people should definitely be pushing top we don't have that kind of mobility we have to stay together in order to win this and look they're all clumped up <coughs> he hits the BKB I'm up in the air for a little bit but not so much that I can't come back down and lay down my four golems I haven't even thrown down my upheaval. I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to heal myself as I micro my golems. There we go. Okay, let's do that one again in slow motion. First set of golems down. Well, well, hold on. Actually, that's not fair. Let's take a look at the HP. Tiny's the one initiating, which is perfect, actually, because um, he he has that um, stun on hit. The mausoleum goes up. And instead of hitting the tower, Tiny starts hitting Doom. Why is he doing that? We don't know. Why are we having a team fight when we're trying to push? We don't know. But it's going to be the reason we die. Okay, so Tiny's at half HP when the first set of two golems goes down. He's at about a quarter when the second one goes down. And they are all hitting him. Make no mistake, I want that Tiny dead because he's the one that can push. When he dies... We have this Bloodseeker to contend with, but my golems are really more concerned with acquiring um, Life Stealer. I know I've got Doom here on my side, so I'm like, I'm going to heal and hope the Doom can carry his way through that Bloodseeker. He does. Tiny, back with full health. That's 3k health that you're about to watch melt. He takes a couple of hits from Creeps and Tower. He decides he has to get that Mausoleum down in order to live, but then he changes the target. You see, he's going to hit three different targets here. If he just focused on one, he might have even gotten a kill. He might have killed Brambo, he might have killed the Mausoleum. But now he's got four golems and the whole team hitting him. That, uh... Ooh, that damage. He was pretty full, and then he went in and bam! Probably hit by Sniper. He's going to get sniped off. If Sniper has assassinated and is paying attention... Sniper is not paying attention. <laughs> I'm still channeling because I'm thinking, oh my god, it worked. And I'm also yelling in my head, four demons! Four motherfucking demons! Because that's the third team fight. Is it the third or the second? I think that's the third team fight in a row that I, we've won. Just used, yeah, there was the one that, where they pushed mid, the one where they were pushing this tower, and the one, this one now where they were pushing mid, where the uh, majority of their team were taken out because of four demons. Over here, it was the three that charged, I believe it was Invoker, Tiny Blood Seeker. Over here, it was Life Stealer, Storm Spirit, and, um... And I Dyer's believe... Middle tower is under I don't attack. know if it was Blood Seeker. It might have been Blood Seeker. Ma maybe fortified. it's the same three every time. But, um, the point is, I'm taking out are helping take out at least three of their heroes rapidly because I can throw down four demons. I've got 123 seconds left on my um, refresher Dyer's cooldown. And you do want to save your ult for when you have that refresher up. Radiance. Skip ahead 50 seconds. It's now a minute till my um, orb comes down and look where they all are. They're trying... They, they've at least now, 50 seconds later, decided they're going to... Push mid. Ugh. They're gonna push mid, but it's still too late. 45 seconds from now, I'm gonna have my four golems. And I'm even going to stall them a little bit. I, I realize, 10 seconds in... Oh, actually, they kill Brambo, which is really, really bad for us. We need Brambo. We need that 20% damage that he gives us when he... Um, oh, no. 40% damage amp. Holy crap. Yeah, we need that badly. So I say, okay... Brambo's not going to be up for 67 seconds. We've got to stall for all the time we can. This thing channels for 16 seconds. So I throw down my golems like I should. I thought I waited. But um, I use my Shiva's guard. And we kill Tiny and Bloodseeker just like that. Let's watch that again. That's fun. It takes more than 10 seconds, but we do it. Okay. He throws down the BKB. He gets stunned anyway. He, I guess, hasn't learned that BKB does no good for him. 
try to kill the invoker, can't do it. The Bloodseeker goes in to help the Tiny, but you just can't kill four golems that quickly without a Diffusal Blade. If any, if, if one of them had said, oh, you know what, I have a crap ton of gold, why don't I build a Diffusal Blade? Things would be hunky-dory. Brambo's very happy that we're winning this because he felt cheated of a, a, of a good early win. His morale is high even though he's dying, which is how it should be. Um, if Undying is dying, he's he's doing his job. He's getting in the middle of things. Okay, so I send these guys to hit um, tower because watch this. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That is a huge chunk Dyer's of damage. That's uh, 255 fallen. damage that we don't have to do to that tower now. Regeneration. We got three pushing bottom. I'm not so confident. I believe I am in base deciding what to buy next because the thing is as as awesome as this turnaround has been because of this um this these golems uh, we ah, really we really do we have like a handy. 195 second gap between when we can win <laughs> apparently i lulled at something hello warlock um and they are going to push, so that wasn't the uh, one that I thought I had to stall them on. That was uh, this one. So, looking at my refresher, it's going to be 40 seconds until I can use it. I'm pretty confident that they are going to be pushing any second now. And what do I do? I say, okay, I need 16 seconds. I'll take 16 seconds. Just in case they got the funny idea that they were going to push up. Because what's most important are these two things right here. These barracks. I get in the fight. Four golems. My upheaval's back, magically. Oh, of course, because of Refresher Orb. And I've got the mana to, to do all of this. i got 2k mana. Look at that godlike... Look at it! It's a warlock! Okay, we're gonna watch this again. One golem, two golem, three golem, four golem. They are just melting the crap out of Tiny. They're gonna go melt the crap out of Lifestealer. And then they uh, pick off the Storm Spirit. And I'm just sitting here so happy. This is why you never give up, because every now and then you've got a hero with an ult that can just mean everything. Refresher Orb, Warlock. Game Changer. And right now I'm, I'm like riding on Adrenaline because, you know, we were going to lose. And now the kill score is finally even again. Kramer's getting a kill. The, the, these carries that I've needed to um, provide for. They're still dying. <laughs> but I've, I've given them the space and the time for us to get into late game. It's 53 minutes. And despite the fact that he's dying, he's very well farmed. Dyer's middle Not as farmed. Is under well, attack. Actually, tiny, Tiny's pretty farmed. Dyer's but, and, you know, fortified. what these guys have done with their farm isn't nearly as productive. I mean, Deso... Anyway, we, we can... That's not what this game is about. This game is about not giving up. We are down to our turtle. And they were winning team fights left and right. And now we are above the kills, the kill score again. We are above the racks and the towers. Uh, count as... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little, little distracted. Like I said, still kind of sick. So... This game is going very, very well for us, again, because we didn't give up. 60 seconds until that uh, those demons are back up. Eight seconds, but Doom and go, uh, Doom and uh, Undying are down. We're going to try to push anyway, because we want these racks to be gone, and three of theirs are down. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. We're gonna take this Rax. 
these two guys come out to say hello. I'm debating whether or not I want to use this on them, and I do. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And I think they kill me here. <laughs> wow, they don't kill me. Oh, you know why? Look at my armor. It's it's 39 armor. Physical damage does crap to me right now because I built Shiva's guard, because I built mechanism, because I built tranquils. Each of those gives me just a little bit of armor. Four armor here. 15, well actually, Shiva's gives me quite a lot of armor. 15 armor here, 5 armor here, yeah. Actually, it's plus 26, holy cow. Dyer's middle Golems, motherfuckers. Fallen. Golems. Dyer's Ancient is under attack. Here I am, my chamber. I let Sniper let die, because I'm just trying to kill ancient their uh, Ancient. And that's game. Golems. I'm so excited about that. GG Warlock indeed. Don't give up. Don't surrender. Don't feel like because you've lost the kill advantage it can't come back. Think about who your heroes are. What they can do. I, like, I was down to nothing but my scepter and my refresher, because I had to settle everything I had except for my scepter. And that turned the game around. Alright, YouTube. You guys have a great day.